Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, your boy's Cory, aka Crasher, and Cosmo! Woo! And ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we are going to be checking out episode 57 of Pokemon Horizons, and the preview of this episode really got us excited because it featured some pretty notable debuts, aka Rayford and her Zoroark, and little gimme ghoul. Uh -huh. I am so excited for this. How are you feeling about I'm this? I'm feeling excited to see like all these new debuts. Me too, bro. Me too. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys enjoyed this year in today's video, make sure you guys thumbs up the like button and subscribe. We do this sort of thing every single week that there's a brand new episode of the series. And I totally just had a spit take on that one. Uh -huh. It goes to show how excited <laughs> I am despite how sleep deprived I am. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, you guys know the drill by now. Now, strap yourselves in and say along with us. Hey, hey yo! yo! Alright, fam, here we Let's go. Let's go. And we have ourselves a recap from the previous Did episode, which was insane. That low kicks, man. <laughs> that low kicks was a freaking star. But Liko did really good as well. Unfortunately, she came up short against Rika. And uh, well, she did well. She did very, really very well. well. This tastes great too. Aw, pizza! Whoa. It's like a it's like a party <laughs> feast. Yummies. There's Captain Pikachu. <laughs> oh, he looks so his happy. Whole face. Well, food makes everybody happy. <laughs> Congrats for passing your basics test. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, everyone. And Dot's drinking her juice. Yep. <laughs> oh, Dot's standing valiantly in battle. Oh my I'm god! Crying to the food. <laughs> <laughs> Murdoch is crying again. Makes me so emotional. Don't get so worked up about it. <laughs> You're right. We can't let up now. You're right. But you have to relax sometimes, too. I agree. You mm -hmm. gotta have balance in your life. That's very important. Give me an orange juice! <laughs> what is it, Liko? Oh? oh? It just makes me happy to see you mm -hmm. all again after so long. It feels like it's been, like, forever since we had, uh, yeah. since we had seen them. They've been busy repairing the ship. Yup. Rayquaza did a lot of damage to it in, that, in their last encounter. Once you're done eating, I'll head over to Orange Academy with you. Huh? Oh? But the implementation tests don't start till implementation, implementation tests. Implementation tests? What does that entail? I made an appointment for us to see Principal Clavel. And, okay. And everyone <laughs> is shocked. Okay. All right, the ship's kind of sort of coming along there. That's still a whole... Yep. Event. Oh, wait a second. Hmm. What did he find? What did, what did old man Dramp... He found a coin! Every human bears a history. Every object wait, bears a Wait, is that Gibby Goose coin? That's gotta be. It has to be. Oh, no, it's, it's gone. gone. The what the oh, hell happened? Okay. Um. Well, that's uh, <laughs> that is uh, quite the uh, interesting little event there. Hmm. Like, what? <laughs> Why are these coins? It vanished. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, a terrapicos I had never known. Hmm. Yeah, that's the name of this episode. I'm really curious. Like, what does that even mean? Is that right? You go on adventures with Professor Freed? Yep. Thank you for taking the time to meet with us today. Oh. You are welcome anytime. I myself am familiar with your work as a Pokemon professor. Oh, even Gita knows his work. I hear you wanted to ask us about Terrapicos of all things. Yep. <laughs> Terrapicos about. aren't the name. <laughs> it could be. A real life Terrapicos. Mm -hmm. In bag form. <laughs> <laughs> This is my first time ever seeing one. Yup. Their habitat is currently unknown after all. Wherever did you find that Terrapicos? Mm. Oh, it's a long story. A pendant I got from my grandmother turned into this little one. Little one. How peculiar. Miss Liko, are you saying you were responsible for reviving it? Revive? I mean... <laughs> I, I heard there are old records of Terrapicos settings in Paldea. Mm-hmm. Given that your Pokemon League chairwoman missed... I was hoping that you'd know something about them. Oh. Okay, what? What do we got here? Okay, okay. Some ancient, like... So those are the two forms. It looks like. Records show that it usually took this form. Yeah, the, the fluffy one. Hmm. But it's not that it transformed into this one during battle. Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, the oh. flashback to when we had last seen that happen. Oh, it's all floofy. Floofy. <laughs> <laughs> but still very small compared to Rayquaza. So that's why back then. No detailed hmm. data survives. 
but it seems to be a Pokemon with a deep connection to Terrasta. Uh oh. With Terrasta. And there's Area Zero, the area crater. Zero. The crater. Like the crater to Area Zero. The great crater. Oh, okay. man. Oh, I think it's gonna point designated area go zero. in. I hope so, bro. I hope that they do, like, one of these days. It was recorded in the Scarlet Book. That's, we've seen that in the last episode. We, isn't that? We got a little Plantera about the Violet writing. Book? Yeah. That's, that's gotta be That's gotta be it. It's gotta go right on on the cover. Yep, I found this in the library. Oh, perfect. Look here. Oh? Is that? Trap goes... It's on... Yeah, third the third form. form. Yeah. That one was, like, insane. That's mm. why it was so interested. Yep. In any case, this is extremely interesting. What could have caused it to return now? Hmm. This little one wants to go to a place called Rockwa. And what is Rockwa exactly? Like, what? This is the first I've heard of it. It could have... It's a place the ancient adventurer reached with Tarapkos a hundred years ago. Could it be Area Zero? Maybe. Hmm. We're on this journey because we want to take Tarapkos to Rockwa. And solving the mysteries of Tarapkos will lead you to solving the mysteries of Rockwa. It, it could be Area Zero. Hmm. Do I have it right? Yeah. I know. Let's go to Area Zero. Oh, Roy okay. might be on something. We might find something. Yeah, a lot of Paradox Pokemon that want to eat you. Uh-oh. There was an accident recently. Entering will be difficult at them. Uh-oh. What accident? I shall accompany you someday. there someday. You wish to shed light on the mysteries of Terrapagos. And so do we. Thank you very much. So, the trip is pending. We don't know. We don't know when it will happen, though. There's someone who may know more than us. Oh? Oh, oh that's right. Allow me to introduce you. Mm hmm? Okay. I wish I could hold on to it, but... ah, Great job it finding be? it, though, Dot. Even though there's so many books... Well, I suppose you should thank Terrapagos for that. The mysteries only lead us deeper. Feels like there's even more secrets we still need to uncover. I, I get it. I'm, like, so excited for this. <laughs> Liko, what's wrong? Huh? You don't look happy. Hmm. Well, I just realized that I don't really know anything about Terrapagos. Okay. No way. You've learned a bunch from absorbing it. Yeah, that's, that is true. Like, we've learned a lot about Terrapagos. Like, <laughs> it likes, it likes berries. berries. It wants to climb up to high places. And it needs constant oh. Oh! Sorry for the wait! Ancient mystery solvers, it needs constant That's supervision. Rayford. There's Rayford! I teach history here. There we go. Nice to meet you. I'm. What? I like Wait! The... Why do you have she a She has one too! What? Whoops. Oh! oh! Putting on an illusion, are we? Oh. Okay. I should have known. Should have, saw... should have seen that coming. That. <laughs> My Zorogr is a bit of a prankster, oh my god. I like the way she dresses. Yeah, me too, she's got a cool style. And Z Zoroark as well. <laughs> she's quite the uh, trickster. Yeah, Has the ability to fool people. large uh, groups of people. <laughs> Protects his lair with illusions. That's an impressive power. Huh? And now it's, ca <laughs> it's Captain, Captain Pikachu! Pikachu. Uh-oh, Captain Pikachu's not liking that. <laughs> Captain Pikachu's arguing with Captain Pikachu. <laughs> <laughs> she looks just like him. Uh, oh, no! Okay. Oh, no! <laughs> and Zoroark's right on top of Free. Oh, no, you're too big. <laughs> oh, no. She's a playful one. You're Terrasco Core students, right? Okay, get back to serious business. I'm Freed, a Freed who's been traveling with them. Yeah, the principal told me. I hear you're following an intriguing lead. Yup. Yes, we... I'm heading out to oh. do some field work right now. Care to join okay. me? Oh? We can chat out there. Field work. What are you going to do? Oh. oh. Okay, what was that? Find okay. some ancient treasure. I heard a ping. Maybe I thought she like flipped a coin or something. Wasn't that what she did? Well, I didn't see the coin, though. Me neither, but... Like, what? What the hell? Mm. <laughs> oh, my. Alright, well... Here we go. Here we go, Zoroark's taking the lead. The ancient adventures... The ancient adventure Lucius and the six heroes. The mythical Paradise Rockwa. Hmm. And Terrapagos, revived in the present day. Yup. 
<laughs> Why is she laughing? Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, she's excited. A lot of you adve adventuring in pursuit of antiques. Now my curiosity is really peaked. <laughs> what do you think? Have any ideas? Oh, oh. Rockwa. It was mentioned in a pretty niche history book. Hmm. Maybe the Scarlet Book. What was it? The Scarlet Book, maybe. Oh. Keep quiet. Oh. Wait, it sounds so. Listen closely. The treasure we're after is active nearby. Active. active? Well, what could it be? Oh. Is the treasure of Pokemon? Oh, yeah. I hear like a jingle jingle. Wait. Okay. Grass was rustling. Oh. 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 oh! We got Gimmickool, oh, non chest go. form. I never seen that Pokemon before. <laughs> treasure Hunter Pokemon. I love how its antennas look like, you know, like <laughs> metal detector, like treasure finders. <laughs> oh my. Born it was born from, from human, human emotion? emotion? They're rare. Nobody's ever managed to catch that form in the Paldea region before. Really? Then I'll do it. <laughs> okay, let's see this. Uh oh. Oh! We've vanished! No! They're small and run away quick. Yep. Pretty on brand. But oh. it left the coin. It left the coin behind. A coin? Looks pretty old. Must have dropped it in panic. Better take it. Ooh. Oh. I got a new treasure! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, there oh, it is! I... There's another one! Right on Flake Coco's head! Wait! Oh, god dang oh. it! Zoroark! <laughs> you little trickster. <laughs> oh? Oh! Good work as always, Zoroark. She stole the coin. The coin wasn't an illusion. Keep your eyes peeled for the old coins that... Gimme ghoul fine. <laughs> we can finish our chat later. There might be others nearby. Let's go find even more! Three <laughs> <laughs> Cocos are excited over yep. Let's try to find some Foragato. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let's, we're going coin oh, hunting! Swap news. We're going coin hunting. It's like a little scavenger <laughs> hunt. Hmm? They're not easy to find, huh? Okay. <laughs> There's... Uh-oh! Oh, Watch out, Viper. It's a Viper. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wait a second. Did they what is a Terrapagos? Oh. What did Terrapagos find? It oh! One of them, like, ruined places, like you see in Scarlet and Violet. A ruin The ruin is a fort built by humans. Let's check it out. Okay. And there's a, there's a tower in the background. One of them, like, hmm. tower, watchtower things. I don't know how in the game, uh, Gimme Go, like, ap appears in Watchtower. Mm -hmm. oh, oh! neck Neckline? I think. And there's a Char Cadet! Even here. Said to have accompanied nobility and knights in ancient times. Yeah. There's Char Cadet. I'm really excited about Char Cadet. Oh! oh <laughs> it's riding on Terrapagos. Oh, my God. And Terrapagos is so happy to be to be ridden by. Yeah. Yes. I, like, that's just so cute, cute right there. <laughs> Oh, and a little, uh -huh. little necklace just like waddling out. Oh, you're cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't lick it, though. It's not scared of humans, even though it's wild. Apparently, helped humans perform rituals such as evil warding and exorcism for I hundreds mean, like, of years. Purifying salt. Yeah, purifying salts. Hundreds of years are that old? Have lived in this land since ancient times. Oh, forming connections with humans. And when the humans left, the Pokemon moved in, huh? Isn't that interesting? Mm. Yeah. Hey! Oh. oh! Wait a second. What do you Wait, find? What, what is that? Oh! Holy coins! That's so many coins. How did he find all those? A whole lot of treasure. There's so much. How come only you found them? I'm a natural treasure hunter. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Play Coco. Play Coco's all excited. You think this means... I see it. There's our oh. goal. A watchtower. Mm -hmm. Yup. Back when Paldea was divided into multiple countries, the Emperor built them to keep watching on neighboring countries. Okay. Well, oh. let's see this. Oh, there's the big Kilo bird. Kill a Watchroll. Does that look familiar? Oh. oh. There was one where you used to live, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bringing back memories. 
Artifacts once built by another, now forming part of your own story. Story? Yeah. The past history is the story that leads to the present day. Yup. The ages of our forebears led the way to which we live I'm today. Not as her. I how... yeah, she, that, That's how you know she's interested. Fly <laughs> straight to the watchtower. Hey, he's cheating. Let's go, Roy. <laughs> now, don't drop those coins, whatever you do. I'll head there with Zoroark. See you at the top. Time for us to go too, Charizard. Aww. So... Oh, wait! Oh, they're all going all there. Right, hang on, they're, all, they're all gonna be going. Alright, let's see this here. They're all on the watchtower. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're chasing each other around. Wait, <laughs> like Goku and Quaxler are chasing each other. That was cute. And... Oh! There's a chest form! A treasure chest. It looks so uh, stereotypical. <laughs> uh, oh, there's something about it. Could mm -hmm. that be? Oh, no, Flint oh, no, Coco! Coco. Wait. What are you doing? What are you doing, bud? Oh, oh there's Gimme Ghoul with all them coins. And he's looking happy. Yep. Oh, oh wait a second. What's Hang it on. Doing? Wait a second. Hang on. <laughs> What's Roy doing? He's just dumping all the coins in the chest. Is he, like, hypnotized or something? Are you sure about that, Roy? Huh? About what? Oh? After all that, we're collecting them. He fell right into... Yep, clutches. They control humans to make them collect oh. coins only to steal every last one of them. There was something didn't Roy's feel right. Roy's compromised. Yep. Oh. And it just... It just hopped <laughs> up. See ya. Aww. Roy's being a sucker here. He got suckered right into that one. <laughs> they really are all kinds of Pokemon. Yeah. That was fun! Are you sure about that, Roy? By hunting for old coins, we were able to meet modern-day Pokemon. All thanks to the lot of you. I had fun, too. Me, too. Okay. I never finished my thought oh, regarding yeah, Rockwood, did yeah. I? Oh, the history book described it thus... Once upon a time, far beyond Paldea. A hundred days and nights away, and there was a Pokemon Paradise. Okay. Hmm. The shining pink of Rockwa. Pink. Pink. So Rockwa really is connected to the Rockurium. Yeah, that, that little pink shard. People dismissed it as a fairy tale. And nowadays, there's nobody left who knows the name Rockwa. Hmm. What? However, I'll choose to trust your story. What? Before the Orange Academy was even founded, this land was once part of the Paldea Empire. Empire. And even before that, another kingdom entirely. I can't even talk today. <laughs> Just imagine it. What the Paldea lying before you may once have looked oh. like. Oh. Yeah. Olden times. Even without seeing it for yourself, if you learn about the past, you can imagine it. The story of our forebears leading up to today. The story of Lucius. the one named Lucius. She knows the name. Oh. <laughs> Wait a second. Now, Terrapagos, that's dangerous up there. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, there's there... Lucius and Wait! Terrapagos. Looking through this. Looking off on the same tower, I think. Or, like, a similar to. Shades of the past through Rico and her Terrapagos. You lot, learning the past is an adventure of its own. If you believe in it, mm. you can find it. Give it your best. Right. Dude. What? Alright, okay. Thank you, Ms. Rayford. <laughs> I just wanted to show the children of the future how much fun learning about the past can be. Yeah, past, present, and future. The themes of Scarlet and Violet. Well, she's a really good teacher. She really is. Oh, man. Good morning. Oh, we got an assembly. Okay. Y'all look full of energy today. Those of you who have passed your Tarasal Course Basics test will finally be moving on to the Implementation Test. Implementation okay. Test. Let's see what that's about here. Osu, listen okay. carefully as I explain. Okay. What do we got? What do we got? Just like with the Basics Test, you'll each go to a specified town and oh, battle the gym leaders. Oh, that's a gym challenge. That's the exact same thing. What a total drag. Shut up, Sandwich. <laughs> yeah, Obsidian agrees. Yeah, yeah, you got got it, Onigiri. All right, so what? 
The implementation test will be much harder. Okay, okay. Each side will use two Pokemon. Okay. You must have both of them take part in the battle. Choice, a 2v2? Okay, so it's like it's like a tag match, I think. Are you going to be okay, Kaduchan? Battle tactically switch is you switch out, okay. Pokemon. Okay. So it's a single 2v2. The key to passing will be whether or not you can make good use of Terrastal. I wish you good luck. Once the implementation tests are over, we'll finally get to mm -hmm. Terrastalize. Yeah. And if we learn about Terrastal, we'll find out more about Terrapagos, right? Yup. Tra <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's exciting. So Aww. please teach me a lot more about yourself. Aw. Little Terrapagos. You can check your assignments from the app. Someone called Ryan Fridge Town. Rhyme! Akoi from uh, Champuru Town. That guy, huh? Kofu? Uh, Mount Napier. Grusha! Grusha! Okay. Yeah, just like before. Mm -hmm. So Liko is going to be facing off against Grusha. That's going to be interesting. That is going to be very interesting. <laughs> so they've got Rhyme, Kofu, and Grusha? Yeah. Seems to be the closest. Champaru Town seems to be the closest. Let's go! I'm not about to get cold feet now. Plantera is like on it. Yay! <laughs> Let's do it! And they even did the whole Rising Bolt Tacklers like salute type of thing. Alright, okay. That, that, is... that got me excited. Yes. That was. That got my freaking hype juices flowing, baby. I can't wait to see how this all mm -hmm. unfolds here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's, it's evaluation, evaluation time. time. Let's get into our post-reaction thoughts about episode 57 <laughs> of... Hub Why were you screaming like well, a bird like the surly slime from Terraria, Cosmo? Well, they're going to battle Larry in the implementation test. Larry? But I thought they were referring to Kofu, but turns out it's Larry, which is even more high. Yeah, I know you're a huge... Huge <laughs> fan of Larry, and... I mean, who isn't? <laughs> honestly, yeah, who isn't? I mean, Larry isn't just, you know, a, a gym leader. He pulls double duty as an Elite Four member, too. So, <laughs> Dot definitely has her hands full when it comes to the implementation test. That right there, man, like, the whole new storyline of the implementation test, that is going to be very, very interesting. We got Roy... Hooking up with Rhyme, we have Liko hooking up with Grusha, and now we have ourselves Dot hooking up with Larry. Larry. All three of them are gonna be locking horns with gym leaders, man, and they are no slouches either. Like, <laughs> they will take you to Pound Town real quick if you ain't prepared. Now, as far as the rest of the episode is concerned, it was pretty much as we had expected, and it did not disappoint. Seeing the shenanorama that came from Gimmigul, especially when Roy was so proud that he found all them coins, only to get suckered into giving <laughs> up all of his coins to the chess form Gimmigul. Like, that right there, I did feel a little bit bad for Roy at first, but he took it very, very well, so that went away. I'm just like, alright, well, you know what? Like, he's happy about it, and you know what? It's about the experiences as well. And it seems like that the trio, alongside Freed and Rayford, had quite the plentiful field work experience. And we also ourselves some other notable Pokemon that made an appearance, such as Knackly, which reminds me of Minecraft because it's so blocky. And then we have Charcadet that wasted no time <laughs> riding on Terrapagos like it was cattle. And Terrapagos had fun with it. Like that right there was one was of so the most adorable cute. moments. <laughs> I honestly wish at that point that, like, a capture was made because, like, Char Cadet gelling together with Terrapicos just like that, that would have been, like, an instant, you know, reason to catch and befriend that Char Cadet. And you know what? Like, whether it evolves into Armor Rouge or Cerule Edge, like, both of them are really good. It's and gonna be good. It would be really freaking good for whoever catches that Char Cadet. But, alas... Is not to be. It wasn't to be. And my hair is getting a mess. <laughs> <laughs> and something else about this episode is that they planted a seed when it comes to the traveling to Area Zero. And Area Zero is like Land of the Lost. It looks beautiful, but it's actually that beauty that manages to make everything all the more unsettling because you're lured into a false sense of security because 
Unbeknownst to yourself the first time going around, you are going to be running into Paradox Pokemon, and uh, they're quite dangerous if you haven't played Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. So we're really excited about that, but as far as the rating of it, this episode is concerned, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10. There wasn't anything bad about this episode. It was more about story progressing than anything else, but it was honestly a really, really cool way that they did it. You know, giving us some history and some flashbacks as well. And also, towards the end, that was where everything just set the tone, set the bar for what the trio of Liko, Roy, and Dot need to do next. How would you rate this out of 10? I'll give it a 7. Mm -hmm. Because the ending was really good, it sets the tone for the next subplot to come. Dude, I, which I is can't... the implementation test. Yup. I can't even begin to describe how excited we are when it comes to that. Like, there's going to be no assistance. There's not going to be a two versus one, you know, handicap type of match. You know, handicap in wrestling terms and stuff like that. WWE fan over 25 years, all that good stuff. Anyways, the thing is, it's going to be mono -y mono okay? One on one. Two Pokemon, two Pokemon. That right there is where everything's going to come in clutch and... Can't wait to see the outcome. I it, really hope for their successes. It's going to be really action-packed. I can't wait for this one, honestly. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, what do you guys think about episode 57 of Pokemon Horizons? How would you score this out of 10? And what stuck out to you guys the most? Whatever your thoughts and opinions happen to be, we'd love to hear you guys out in the comments down below. And that's it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. So we want to say thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, consider liking and subscribing. And especially comment your thoughts down below. Because we love hearing from you guys always have that will never ever change and neither will chunks <laughs> so with that being said thanks again for watching have yourself a fantastic day or night <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, botched that. you botched it i got tongue-tied i don't even care as long as the viewers enjoy what we put mm -hmm. out that's what matters most anyways thanks for watching and we'll see you, you guys, guys in, in the, the next, next one, one.